As I wander through the landscape today, looking for clues left behind by our ancestors, you can't help but notice that the land has been farmed for many hundreds, if not thousands of years. Proof still lies in the soil from the earliest farmers with Neolithic polished stone axes and early Bronze Age weapons. to wander the landscape looking for more evidence left behind by our prehistoric forefathers, I can't help but feel there's plenty more information awaiting discovery just inches below the soils of the fields of Britain. Such a beautiful landscape in windswept conditions, I just wonder what it would have looked like 6,000 years ago when the first farmers of Britain arrived. The production of polished stone axes and flint microliths prove beyond all doubt that a Neolithic man was living on this land and farming. Flint napping was no easy task and the manufacture of small flint microliths was hard work. A specially trained eye and a keen hand would produce these tools for use as small blades. But the manufacture of stone and flint tools was to fall by the wayside as bronze came to Britain, round about 2000 BC when the first implements such as this bronze dagger were manufactured. The importation of copper and tin and the production of the first bronzes brought to Britain by the late Neolithic people and the early Bronze Age. I can't help feeling privileged that I've walked the landscape of Britain and found tools and implements from the earliest times, with the Neolithic flint tools 6000 BC, the stone polished axe. But it's the manufacture of bronze in Britain that really excites me, with samples such as this beautiful bronze dagger cast around about 2000 BC using new technology and the first metals in Britain. There's little doubt that over the last 15 to 20 years I've walked hundreds of miles across the British landscape, but in that time I've found evidence left behind by our ancient ancestors. To be able to find this information from the earth is amazing and tells us a story of mankind from earliest times. to research the history and the archaeology of the area where you live then why not join an archaeological group or do as I do and go field walking. With a keen eye and a knowledge of what you're looking for you'll soon be looking back into the past. My name's James Barr, TV presenter for history bringing history to life.